We can perhaps look again at the symbolism of the case today of Zwilaki Sisulu. He was locked away in the hopes that he would be discarded and forgotten. Instead, his long incarceration has made him world famous. If one attends a press conference in some capital abroad, the chances are that every delegate will have heard of Zulaki Sisulu. They will not have heard of the editor of the Star or the Sunday Times or the Cape Times. They will not know the name of the minister who locked him away. Today, however, he is free and he is unfree. He has been released to the, from the cells of Johannesburg prison to serve a sentence of indeterminate length in his own bedroom in his own house in Dubia. He will continue to edit New Nation in name, but not in substance. He may not write for any publication. His case symbolizes the beginning and the end, the end of one era in which a first set of, of attacks were made on the, on the press and the beginning of another. We have had one small victory, but it would be premature to imagine that we have yet won the war. Thank you. Four editions of New Nation were banned under the permanent laws as constituting a threat to state security. The publishers appealed against that decision. Full argument was heard before the Publications Appeal Board in respect of all four of those editions and the Publications Appeal Board lifted the banning in all cases. Simultaneously while that process was going on, New Nation was being subjected to ministerial attention under the emergency regulations. Although the Minister of Home Affairs in applying the emergency regulations adopts a slightly different approach. He is concerned with the cumulative effect of a series of issues of a particular publication, whereas the Publications Appeal Board looks at individual issues. Both ultimately are concerned with threats to state security.